You want to hear some exciting news about AI? Then you're at the right spot. In this exciting video where we're diving deep into the all new OpenAI GPT 3.5 Turbo Plus release. It's like the next level of awesome for chatbots and you won't believe what it can do. So OpenAI has just dropped a bombshell by introducing the fine tuning API for GPT 3.5 Turbo, the very same model that powers the free version of ChatGPT. Now, what does this mean for you? Well, it means that you can now teach this model to do some amazing things with your own data. It's like giving it a superpower boost tailored just for your needs. Imagine you're building a health chatbot. You can fine tune GPT 3.5 Turbo with medical data, making it super precise in its health related responses. That's the magic of fine tuning, my friends. You can tweak the model's style, tone, format, or even make it respond in only German if you feed it German data. It's like giving the model a personality makeover. But here's the kicker. Fine tuning also lets you use shorter prompts. Instead of a long winded instruction like generate JavaScript code that prints hello world at the console, you could just say JavaScript hello world and get the same result. Why does this matter? Well, shorter prompts mean faster API calls and lower costs. OpenAI charges based on the number of tokens processed in your input and output. And tokens are like tiny units of text. So the less you use, the more you save. Imagine tokens like tiny building blocks of text. GPT 3.5 Turbo can handle up to 4,000 of these blocks at once. To put it in perspective, that's double what the older model could handle. This means you can ask your chatbot more complex questions or give it longer paragraphs to work with. In simple terms, it's like having a bigger canvas for your chatbot to paint on. You get more detailed responses and can tackle even more substantial tasks. It's like upgrading from a small notepad to a spacious whiteboard for your AI conversations. But that's not all folks. In this video, we're not only diving into the nitty gritty of the GPT 3.5 Turbo fine tuning update, but we'll also be comparing it to the upcoming GPT 4 fine tuning expected to drop later this year. Plus, I've got some juicy tips and some tricks up my sleeve to help you fine tune your own chat GPT models and create mind blowing chatbot experiences for your users. Now let's talk about how you can fine tune your chat GPT models. It's not as complicated as it sounds, trust me. First things first, you need a data set. Think of it as a collection of examples that tell the chatbot what you want it to learn. This data set should include things like customer questions and the chatbot's responses. Make sure it's in the right format that OpenAI asks for. Once you've got your data set ready, you'll upload it to OpenAI's platform. They're pretty generous with how much data you can upload, so no need to worry about that. Now, here's the important part, setting up a fine tuning job. This is like giving OpenAI a little instruction manual. You'll tell them which model you're working with, in this case GPT 3.5 Turbo, which data set to use, and some settings about how that model should learn. These settings are called hyperparameters, but don't let that scare you. You can leave them as they are if you're not sure, or you can tweak them if you know what you're doing. Once you've got everything set up, OpenAI will kickstart the training process. How long it takes can vary. It might be quick or take a few hours, depending on your data and what you want the model to do. You can keep an eye on its progress using OpenAI's tools so you're never left in the dark. So there you have it. Fine tuning isn't some mystical process. It's just a matter of getting the right data, uploading it, and giving a few instructions. With fine tuning, your chatbot can get smarter, adapt to your brand, and cater directly to your users' preferences. It's like custom tailoring a suit, but for AI. And remember, fine-tuned GPT 3.5 Turbo is already a tech marvel, pushing the boundaries of what GPT-4 can do. Speaking of GPT-4, it's a powerhouse that can handle both images and text, and it's the brain behind the premium chat GPT+. But here's the kicker. All this added power doesn't mean added cost. In fact, fine tuning makes your chatbot respond faster, handle more text, and tackle complex tasks, all without breaking the bank. 
So, if you've got GPT 3.5 Turbo with fine tuning in your arsenal, you might not need to hop into the GPT 4 bandwagon right away. Now, isn't that something to think about? Now that your model's training is complete, it's all set and ready to roll. You can use it by referring to its unique ID. Congratulations! Your ChatGPT model is now tailored precisely for what you need it to do. But here's the thing. Fine-tuning can be a bit tricky. While it's fantastic for making your model awesome at specific tasks, it can also introduce errors or make it perform not so great overall. That's why it's super important to thoroughly test it before putting it into action. You don't want your chatbot saying the wrong things, right? Quality data is like the secret sauce in the whole process. You need it to make fine-tuning work like a charm. And remember, OpenAI does charge for fine-tuning, so be mindful of that. So when should you think about fine-tuning? Well, it's a smart move when you're crystal clear about what your chatbot should do when you've got the right data to teach it, and when you want your chatbot to have a unique personality that matches your brand. But if you're still in the experimental phase, don't have the right data, or want to save your resources, fine-tuning might not be the best call for you right now. Here's a cool example to inspire you. There's a travel chatbot out there that got special training just for travel stuff. It's like a travel guru. This chatbot can find amazing deals and gather info from different websites like a pro. That's the power of fine-tuning in action. So there you have it, the lowdown on fine-tuning your chat GPT model. Use it wisely, test it well, and watch your chatbot shine. And there you have it folks, fine-tuning can work wonders in various fields. Just look at chatbots trained on health data, offering tailored fitness advice, or musical chatbots crafting lyrics and artwork for songs. With the right approach, fine-tuning can take chatbots to new heights, limited only by your imagination. Let's talk about GPT-4, the new kid on the AI block. GPT-4 is like the supercharged version of GPT-3.5 Turbo. It can work with both text and images, making it a real multitasking machine. It's also bigger, faster, and more flexible, like the Swiss Army knife of AI. But here's the catch. As of now, you can't fine-tune GPT-4, which means you can't customize it for specific tasks like you can with GPT-3.5 Turbo. That's a bit of a bummer. And there's more to the story. GPT-4, for all its power, can sometimes give answers that don't quite make sense. It's like having a super smart friend who occasionally says things that leave you scratching your head. Also, GPT-4 leans towards recognizing patterns rather than truly understanding the context. So it might give you an answer that seems right, but doesn't quite hit the mark. Lastly, it's worth Worth noting that using GPT-4 can be on the pricey side. So while GPT-4 is a formidable AI, it's not without its quirks and costs. Whether it's the right choice for you depends on your specific needs and budget. It's like deciding between a high-performance race car and a trusty, customized sedan. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos on AI and chatbots. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.